Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Hearts. In the last episode, uh, <laughs> I always forget when I say this, you'd think I'd practice this. But uh, no, we found out that Bacon is under the Nemeton Monastery and he's using Kedelka to summon something. We don't know what the, exactly he's trying to do, but we know where he's at. Uh, I know I left you there, but I wanted to go ahead and finish the lottery ticket side quest real quick. Uh, just simply because it makes more sense to do it now. Introverted Chopin. Want to? Yeah, sure, why not? And this guy has a paternity card. Which is another of the discount. It's the final discount card that we can get. Let's see if I got it. Did I get it or did I way off? I was way off. Crud. Uh, well, I lose. <laughs> uh, let's see, how many of these do I have here? I might just give another shot. And if I miss the second time, then I'll go back. I got five. I, I have enough. I got plenty. Let's try it one more time here. Count me in. If I miss it, I'll come back. Oh, I missed it. I'm off again. Same spot as last time. Alright, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, hey! I got it! Alright. Second try. I have enough to retry, I believe. Uh, see, he was number six. Oh, well, he's number four. And we got three, two, one. Okay, cool. So I can't mess up uh, on any of them now. I have to get... Well, I have one more to spare, really. Because there's only uh, three more. No, no, I cannot mess up on any of them. Really? Ugh, what the heck? I'm just gonna burn them. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back, but uh, I was reading my material wrong. I actually can't um, do all of them yet. I thought I could, but no, I can't. Uh, and I just wanted to show off here. There's a talisman of power I forgot <coughs> forgot to pick up. So that's pretty nice. Now let's head down, down here. And the good thing about this, is, uh, right here is Roger Bacon will actually heal you when you talk to him. That's pretty nice. I like that. Alright. Now we're into this dungeon and it splits off into a whole bunch of different areas but uh, first thing we want to do is kind of head west at the for this first fork here and then we can examine this wall here the seal is of flame when the seal and the flame shine together the treasure will be opened so that's a clue to the puzzle that we we have to solve here it's not a very hard one to be honest with you it involves a uh, uh, well, we get a Mauser prototype. Well, if we were using Margaret, that'd be good for her. But she's already a little bit ahead of everybody else. Let's see. Uh, give me one second here. All right, we want to go back this way. I just gotta forgive me because I'm not too familiar with this place. And maybe we can, there's a very um, good item I want to get here, and I don't want to mess this up. This is very weird music. Oh crap. Well, at least we get to show off some new enemies here. Oh, it's another rendition of that uh, what's-his-face guy, Predator, whatever. But he doesn't have nearly as much HP. He's got enough, though. And he's, he's actually got a lot of defense. Holy crap. He's got quite a bit of defense here. And he's putting ignition on himself. What a scoundrel. Okay, let's see. We're gonna hit him with the blessed light.
Actually, I don't know why I'm going this way. And hey, we maxed out one of our elements. That's pretty nice. Which element was it that we maxed out? The dark. Hey, we have the dark stone. So technically, if I wanted, I could go uh, the next safe spot. I could go... Uh, shoot, why don't we go do that now? It'll be pretty helpful. We have the dark stone. We have maxed out. I might as well show it off now. I thought there was a safe spot over here. I guess not. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Heal me, old man. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought there was a safe spot right there. Well, there is a safe spot right there. What am I doing? Ugh, I'm dumb. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm just being a retard. There's a safe spot in the very back. I didn't go far over enough. Or it Yeah, it's right here. Let me save my game before we go fight this loser. Because he's pretty strong. He can hurt. Alright, let's do it. <clears throat> we have the Earth Gravestone. We've maxed out our Dark Element. It was our first stone that we got, so how fitting for us to max it first. Pretty nice. Wow, look how big that thing got. From the Seal of the Grave, a soul, blah blah blah. Fight the Fusion Monster? Alright, let's do it. He's very tough. He has a, does a lot of damage. It is the mighty Schnozenberger. Or Schnozenberger. I, me and my buddy always called it the Schnozenberger, and that's what I'm going to call it, because I don't know how to pronounce that. Wow, miss. First hit misses. This is looking fantastic already. He's probably going to... I hope he boosts himself. Okay, Spirit Pollution. What is this? He's boosting himself. Oh no, he's stealing MP. He stole 19 MP. What a waste. But hey, I'm not complaining because I missed my first attack and I need to do more damage. He's got. I mean, this guy is really difficult to kill. I mean, if he hits me, watch how much damage he's going to do. If he even does it. Release magic. Z. I think he's boosting himself again. You know, it might be beneficial for me to turn into. Uh, let's try Ifrit. Um, so I can do a little bit more damage here. So he's gonna hurt when he hits now. <laughs> it didn't really boost him too much. Please don't use a magic spell, you're gonna kill me. Well, he's almost done. Revelation. Ooh, this is gonna hurt, guys. I think he might be close to one-shotting me. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Nope, okay, I'm giving him way too much credit. But he took down a lot of my health. But with this, he should go down. Alright. First final form is complete. Fusion Soul, we got the Fusion Soul of Schnozenberger. Very nice. And I'm going to take the time to equip that, because it's our strongest soul we have. Destructive urge stirs within you. You received the soul of Schnozenberger. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that over Sharon here. <sighs> what am I doing? I'm just messing up all kinds of... Schnozenberger. Now, you can see here, it says Spirit for Pollution, Release Magic, and Question Mark. And we don't have... Um, you know, we saw him use Revelation. But how come we don't have it? Well, to learn the Question, Question, Question Mark spells, you actually have to go Berserk. And... Uh, I believe as soon as you go Berserk, your character will use that level 3 spell, and he will uh, learn it. So that's how you unlock all these question, question, question mark skills you'll be seeing. Uh, back to the dungeon now that all these sidetracked. <laughs> keep getting sidetracked. I would like to get through this dungeon in this video if, if I can. I don't know, it might be a super long video. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys would like that. Let's see, we gotta head east at the next... Uh, this. Whoop, I went west. We don't need to go east first. Go down this way. This music is always strange to me. But uh, I like it. It's, it's really cool. It has its really cool points, and it's really strange. Now, here's the puzzle of this area there's these empty treasure chests. And it opens up one over there. Right now, now we gotta go to the back to where we came from. Darn it. Now we gotta head back to the uh, way we came from. You know, I'm gonna show off Snozzerberger this fight. See how far. Alright, we're only 8 minutes. or 9 minutes in here. 
look at that. I only have 8 SP. That's, you know, crap. <laughs> that guy has a lot of defense, and I still did almost 300 damage. Uh, you really... I don't think you're supposed to have Snozenberger this, you know, at this point. I mean, yeah, you can have like I did. I mean, it's just kind of, unless you put the Flare Brooch on, uh, you know, eight turns. That's all you really have with Yuri, unless you use a SP restoring item. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna defend. No reason to use an attack with Zushin. And you know, down he goes. I am trying to keep everybody within a reasonable level. You know, like I said in uh, previous episodes, I typically only use... Ah, shut up, stupid malice. I typically only use, like, uh... One character, uh, like, one party. But, you know, for the sake of this LP, I'll do something different. And show off everybody. Hopefully, I'll, I'll learn everybody's skills, because that'd be pretty na That'd be pretty handy. I just don't like using Haley. I don't like using him at all. <laughs> Head back this way. And let's see. Do we want to go? And close your chest here. I'm trying to very. Uh, my bad, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing this. It's kind of unprofessional, but I just don't want to mess this up. First, second, travel. Press the second. Yeah, we know how to do it. So, first what we want to do is open this one, I believe. Open the north one. That'll open that one. And boom, there's the puzzle solved. <laughs> Dumb. Alright. Now we want to light this flame, this little thing here. Hit it. it. Makes a blue flame appear over there. Which will come to soon enough. And what that does... Uh, what that flame does is there'll be corresponding flame or lasers or something of a color, and when that middle torch... Well, as I was saying, there'll be a corresponding gate that we, we have to get past that have that certain color. Like you'll see here, there are... it's not a gate really, it's a... Uh, there's a secret treasure here. There'll be these lights guarding chests and stuff, and we can't get past them unless we have the corresponding light. And we received another Mind's Eye. That's the second and the only other Mind's Eye you can get in this game, I believe. Unless you can win it from that lottery ticket guy several times, but I don't really recommend it because the Mind's Eye is only really good on Yuri. That, that's it. Okay. Now we want to head back this way and go west at, at the previous fork. It's the only other way we can go, really. Oh, we got some new enemies here, sort of. It's reskins, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. So you got Sin and Straith. Let's beat up Straith since he's the only one there. He's lonely. He needs to die. <laughs> and then boom goes the dynamite. Just such... Like, how are they... They're holding that thing with their big toe. Like, that's so weird. Zushin's about to die. Oh, thank you. Can I have some more, please? That'd be awesome. I could have cured it, but I don't really care enough. I mean, that zoo should do, like, some good damage here, hopefully. Ah! Let's corpse arm him and get rid of him. How are we doing on time here? Alright, we're pretty good. I typically try to keep my videos under 30 minutes, because, you know, that's kind of ridiculous. You know, some people may not want to spend their, you know... Oh, paralyzed. Well, how fitting. I'm paralyzed too. Defend. Oh man, he got to go twice. What the heck? Uh, let's just beat him with a book. That's how under level. They're 10 levels under Yuri. So, they're not going to be all that useful during the boss fight, to be honest. They're, they're under level, but that's why I brought them to this so they could get some experience and catch up. I'm more than likely to. Get Alice and Zushin up to where they need to be. I'm probably gonna have to do some off-screen grinding to get them, uh, you know, anywhere close to the other people. We got some people I think are 34 or 35, so that's gonna be kind of fun. <laughs> that's a thing. Hit the switch here. Turn the laser. Purple. How convenient. And now we got this 
treasure chest right here we can open up. Awesome. And we get the Holy Book Martyrs, which is a new weapon for Alice here, which I don't know why I bought the Grand Bible if this weapon... Uh, second... I, I don't... <laughs> never mind. Okay. Now that we got this, we want to exit to the south here. All this stuff, you're, you, uh, there, there's just one really important item that you want to get here. I can't, can't emphasize enough. Once you beat this dungeon and you don't get this item, you cannot get it in the game. It is totally missing. Uh, okay, we're not going to go that way just quite yet. We want to go and hit that green switch that was around there. If you saw in the cutscene. Oh, we got some new enemies here. Alright. I'm gonna, it's a guinea pig. I'm gonna turn into Ifrit and maybe help out with some of this damage on Zushin's uh, corpse arm because he can't one-shot him. Like I don't even think Yuri can one-shot these guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go over something. Disembody will actually undo your fusion and you become human, but you do not recover the SP that you used to summon this monster. Uh, they changed that in the second one where you can actually change between fusions uh, between. Like, if you're fused into the fire one, while you're cha into the fire form, you can change into the water form, no extra cost whatsoever. So that's pretty nice. Wow, he actually killed them. So that's pretty nice. I didn't look at their names. I'm sorry, guys. I fail. And they were dark elements, so we got nothing for that. Ooh, our mouse is getting green. We're going to have to go clear that pretty soon. I forgot to go over uh, one other thing. There's a key item that we got. Chest had a yellow. Okay. Hold on one second. Yes, we're gonna hit the green switch. Just wanna make sure. Uh, there was an item we got. It was the chalice from Joshua, if you remember earlier. Uh, that is actually gonna be used in a quest much, much later in the game. Not, not much, much later. What am I talking about? That's gonna be used for a quest coming up after this dungeon, actually. I'm retarded. I don't know why I said much, much later. Uh, if you remember, there was a chest all the way back where we were. Uh, so that was protected by a white light. So now we can go undo that. All right, guys, I decided to meet you back here and uh, open this chest here, and we get the coat of the sages, which is a new armor for Zushin here. So let's go ahead and equip that. It's pretty nice. I don't know why I bought these armor. If they, I mean, I'm just <laughs> my my. Uh, I can't even speak. Like I forgot that they get a lot of equipment better equipment in here so <laughs> so now we gotta head back to where we were but first we want to go turn off all right so as I was saying we want to go back over here and turn off the blue switch and I'll meet you back uh, where that yellow trip <laughs> saying I'll meet you back where the yellow treasure chest is all right here we are in front of the yellow treasure chest and we get a seal of vitality pretty nice Even though I haven't used them yet I still haven't used them. I've been collecting them through the whole game and I I have not used it yet. What is wrong with me? Probably screaming, Zegfair, what the heck? You use those stupid items, you're retarded. Now that we've gotten all the treasure chests, you've opened every single chest that you can in here, come back to this flame pit now. And if you've done everything correctly, you get an item. Destruction stone. That is a very nice uh, key item, or important key item you want to have uh, for Yuri. As you'll see coming up pretty soon. Hey, in that last battle, we got maxed out light elements. That's pretty nice. I'll get that soon enough. But now that we've done everything I want to do in this dungeon, we can head to the exit, which is just right up ahead. So yeah, that stone will only appear if you open up every chest in this dungeon. There's a little pamphlet, a uh, little tablet there to tell you what you got to do. But I already told you what you got to do. Look at this. Look at this. This is ridiculous. One, 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 one. <laughs> seal. All these seals. Whatever. I'll use them eventually. Oh, I need to save. Man, I cleared my malice once already, and it's already filling up like crazy. These enemies just really hate me. Oh, and uh, Zushin in the last battle learned a new spell. Serpent Fury, I think that's what it was called. So that's pretty nice. Received the Seal of Strength. Very nice. And a Punk Jacket, which is a new armor for Yuri. Yeah, I, uh, no, it's not. Maybe it's not. Who's that for? Huh. Whatever. Nonetheless, 
let's go ahead and confront Mr. Bacon. Well, this is quite a place. Hard to believe this basement contains all this. It's enough to make the hairs on the back of my neck stand up straight. The spirits in this place are very different from any other place. They don't feel any happiness or pain. They're just nothingness that float around. Maybe those greys aren't for humans. I have been expecting you. Bacon! Albert, old buddy, where are you hiding these days? I'm right above you. Please, come on up. <laughs> you just sit tight. We'll be there before you know. <laughs> but you know what, guys? I'm going to leave it off here. <laughs> Till next time, this is Zangfei500. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care.